I had a grant from the university to research my dissertation. I arrived in May of 1969, spent five months there. So I experienced not the Prague Spring, but the undoing of the spring the following, by the following year. When I arrived in May, there were still signs of some freedom. On every building in Bratislava was 4-2, 4-2, because that was the score that the Slovak, Czechoslovak team beat the Russians in the, in the World Hockey Tournament. And every wall in Bratislava had 4-2. You know, the kind of subtle protests that people were doing. They couldn't protest anymore. The army was still there. The Soviet tanks were still there. But 4-2 on every wall. Over the summer, you could see it uh, slowly progressing towards more and more control. It, I worked in the archives, and we would sit and talk politics in May and June. And then by July, as you're getting closer to the first anniversary of the Soviet invasion, um, every one of the archivists would come up to me and say, OK, it's OK to talk politics with me, but maybe we better not in a group. And the tragedy was that everyone said that. So none of them was a police spy, but they couldn't be sure. You know, that system totally undermined any sense of um, trust you had between people. And so you could see that. And as the anniversary approached on that day, two, day, two three days before, you of course had flowers everywhere where um, a couple of the people had been killed in Bratislava and then some in uh, Prague. Um, and on the day of the anniversary of the invasion, a huge silent crowd gathered in the, um, in, the, um, in the main square of Bratislava and the soldiers were there with guns and, and tanks. And I was standing to the side and my cousin Igor came up and he grabbed me and he pulled me out of there and he said they're, they're broadcasting on Slovak radio that all these demonstrations are the work of foreign students. He said, you've got a foreign student passport here, get the hell out of here. So he pulled me out of there because that's what they were blaming the people's protest on foreign students.